Hi guys, and today I wanted to make a video. I'm gonna be reacting to Kourtney Kardashian's nighttime skincare routine, and I never done this reaction video before, so I thought it would be fun. Give me a second. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but I'll all right, secure the bag. Time is money. You come with me. Yes, time is money. Okay, so I have combination skin, and my skincare routine is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven step process. Okay, wait, actually, it's an eight step process because my first step is putting on our Poosh and Aqua. Okay, well, that's not too bad. That's nothing crazy, you know. I think I have as many steps. Let's continue watching. This hair turban because I use this as basically as a headband instead of a headband if I don't want to wash my hair and I put it on the silk side which is the leopard um I usually don't wash my hair at night I always wash it in the morning so um but I don't know do you guys wear bandana when you wash your face at nighttime I don't it's an interesting touch. Pretty cool. Side. Even if I want to take a shower, when it's a little plug for the poosh. Let's let's see how many plugs there are gonna be. I'm gonna take a shower when I get, home. I get home or take a bath. It's nice to wrap it up in this, and it protects my hair and keeps my hairstyle for the next day. My second step is well, yeah, definitely. If you're gonna take a bath, you need to raise your hair up. But preserves for the next day. Does she not wash it the next day in the morning? I can't. I have to wash my hair. Is I use this micellar cleansing water. I think there's a lot of different brands out there, so I've tried. I um, actually use the same exact micellar water. This pink bottle is for sensitive skin, and it's really great product. It doesn't make your skin oily. It has these special little granules that take away your makeup. Really, a bunch, and they're all the same. So after a long day of working, filming, um, you know, running around all day, it's so nice to just get my makeup off. Okay, next step is Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser, which has recently become my favorite face cleanser. I actually never tried a speech on Lily. Have you guys tried? Is it good? But the fact that it's a hydrating cleanser, that's cool. And she has a combination skin. So that's appropriate. Let's keep watching. Um, want to look up what's the ingredients. We did it as a push pick of the week. And it's very, um, it doesn't strip your skin, which I've found many face cleansers can strip and leave my skin feeling really dry. So this does not, but it definitely makes my skin feel really clean and, you know, gets my makeup off. Well, the hydrating cleanser is not going to be stripping to begin with because it's supposed to be hydrating. So that's in itself kind of, yes, you know, something with harsh um, mechanical exfoliation or even some chemical exfoliation that are not formulated but are gonna be too stripping for some skins and harsh um, so you would hope so my next step is a face mask like how she pats her face you don't want to like smudge your face and I love to do if I have time I will alternate three different face masks even in one night this is the Caudalie instant detox mask this is one of my favorites I just alternate masks depending on what my skin needs I have always that's smart. Um, it's good always to have an array of masks and this is a toxifying mask and it looked like maybe it's clay based. She has a combination skin so maybe it's a little bit oily in some areas, T-zone let's say so. Um, on days that she feels oily that's probably a good mask to use and probably I've heard it's a good um, brand too. I have always been into masks. Um, my skin can break out very easily. You know, it's important to me to use products um, that are as clean as possible. Chloe taught me this trick to put on your neck, to put everything going upwards, which 
I haven't been doing that my entire life until maybe one month ago. So that's my new trick. Wow, that's really actually smart. You always want to do that. If you do your new face, you go up, 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 up. Always nice up to avoid those wrinkles. While I have this mask on, I'm not just going to sit here and watch the mask dry. So while I'm doing my entire skin routine, I sip on our Poosh and Vital Proteins Pink Moon Milk, which is collagen. Um, I firmly believe in beauty from the inside out. So this is going to put me to sleep too because it has melatonin. Melatonin is one big... Um plug for the push products but okay that makes sense it's kardashians anyway drinking collagen is actually better because the products that claim to have collagen in them actually don't really get absorbed into the skin so you want to eat collagen you know products like actually chicken like cartilage and stuff like that has you know collagen and uh supplements with collagen powders um some bodybuilding, you know, it's also healthy bodybuilding, bodybuilding supplements also. Um, they're good for your joints, not just your skin. It's good for your body in general. So yeah, I approve collagen supplements are good. Because it has melatonin in it. Um, it also has ashwagandha, which is a, an adaptogen. So it adapts to what your body needs. And then I will also do a lip scrub and this one is French Girl Rose Lip Polish. I actually got this for my birthday. Lip scrubs are cool. I like them. I've used them too. I have Jane Nardell's, I have Max. They're kind of regenerating your lips. Pretty cool. From one of my friends who I really trust and she gave me her favorite products in a basket. This was one of them. I get a lot of products sent to me, so I am into trying new products. Um, if there's any serums and stuff that people send me that I know are amazing products that maybe aren't good for my skin type, I love to put them on my body. And that is also something I would do if I just got out of the shower and I put my mask on. I would take care and do like full serums on my body, do lotions on my body i love to do like special stuff on my feet special stuff on my hands because that's what you do when you have a lot of money you put all the serums on your body it can get pricey but it's good for your skin stuff on my hands i really do like a whole thing and not waste any time so i leave my mask on for 10 minutes um so now it is time it's drying up as you can see it's time for it to come off so after a lip scrub, I love to put on a lip balm and I love this Barbara Sturm lip balm. It's very smooth. It's definitely one of my favorites. So this step I probably do about three times a week. This is our Aura and Poosh. Going back to the lip balm, very important to put hydrate your lips for the nighttime and I always make sure I do that. Uh, because um, you have to, you know, after you brush your teeth, you treat teeth, especially dry your lips out. So I cannot sleep without the hydrating balm. Totally approve that. Though never heard of that specific brand. Hyaluronic Halo with CBD. So it's hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and CBD. And it's a serum. And we spent probably... I mean, months and months creating this. And I push she had a, a line. Well, I guess not just Kylie has lines, but uh, she doesn't promote it as much. She's not into as the other Kardashians. Now she's even out of show, I believe, for some portion of it. Um, but, you know, I don't know CBD adding on a skin how much of benefit there is. I know there is pain relieving benefits like CBD, THC products, all that, but it will vary individually for skin. I don't know. It's maybe a little bit more of a gimmick, but hyaluronic acid definitely very hydrating. Thousand times holds its weight molecules of water, so it's very hydrating and and it pulls that water to the surface and it holds it there. One thousand times of its molecular weight. 
So let's keep watching. And I put the serum on first, which I put the serum on nightly, but I only do the derma roller three times a week. Again, you go up. Derma rollers I would not use, not something I would use for home. Don't recommend it. Uh, yep. Because it's 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 the needles, you might destroy the skin, you might cause scarring, scarring. Yeah, I don't know. She's not an esthetician, she's not a derma. Chloe's trick. I always put every product on my hands and chest as well. So this is our Aura and Poosh Derma Roller, which I soak in rubbing alcohol for at least 10 minutes after the last time I use it. That's good, and she's teaching this people to do, and everyone's, of course, going to follow the Kardashians, whatever they're doing. So, um, no, and rubbing alcohol now, you need something like Barbicide that kills everything that is a known, um, you know, fungicide, Barbicide, every, you know, everything. It kills HIV, everything. Um, all the bacteria. So, um, no, this is... After the last time I use it. And then I rinse it. So this is teeny, teeny, tiny little needles. And then I roll. So I go like five times in one area how tiny these needles are but nobody should be needling themselves at home it's a procedure in office unless they're so tiny but they're not doing much it's like a gimmick i think they're selling this because it's a cool thing i guess just kind of something different to promote but um i'm not approving of this one side to side and this builds collagen